Hi everybody, this is another Flying Dirty video, and this video number 7, this video was supposed to be the maiden flight video, but unfortunately uh, I haven't been able to fly this flight after because I had issues with the ESCs that I put on this aircraft. The problem with the ESCs is that these ESCs are not responding fast the way it's supposed to be. This type of aircraft flies with airplane motors and the gyro controller is hooked up to all the ESCs and tell all the ESCs at what RPM the motor is supposed to go depending on the throttle that you are giving to the aircraft and the direction that you want to point the aircraft to. So you cannot have ESCs that they don't respond fast. And the other problem with the ESCs is this ESCs decide that they are not responding fast. When you keep the throttle to the top, instead of the motor, so the, the motor should rip up right away, but it doesn't do that. The motor just gradually starts spinning from slow to fast, and that is not acceptable in this type of aircraft. So I believe these ESCs that were designed for helicopters and not for airplanes. So maybe there's a way around it to program, go to the profiles and program it to solve that problem, but unfortunately uh, the ESCs doesn't come with instructions. I saw some videos on YouTube of people uh, programming these ESCs by um, going through the menus, you know, by listening to the different beeps that the ESC does, and all those beeps means, you know, different menus and profiles that you can adjust, but honestly, that's not really enough for me. It's kind of, you will have to learn, you know, more scope to understand this ESC, and that's not good enough. I know this also ensures that you can buy a programming card that will help you programming the ESC in an easier way, but you go to the Hobby Team website, and these people, they have probably like a dozen different uh, programming cards, and you don't really know which one is the right one for this particular model. So it was a waste of time for me buying these 50 amp Hobby Team ESCs, and unfortunately I had to just discard these ESCs and get the and, and, and also give up the idea of flying this quadcopter with a four-cell battery. That was one of the main reasons I purchased this ESC because this motor doesn't need a 50 amp uh, ESCs because these motors are 2215s. <coughs> you know, so it doesn't need uh, ESC that that big. But I was needing an ESC that I can handle four cells, but then again, I have to give up the idea of flying with four cells, so um, I was forced to replace this 50M ESC with this 30M uh, ESCs. The nice thing about these ESCs is they work really cheap on eBay. I uh, only pay uh, less than $11 each uh, for an eBay US seller. And they are also programmable, but I'm familiar with the uh, beepings of this ESC and you can just set up the ESC through the gyro controller and the radio without the need to go to the uh, programming setups and that wasn't the choice that was that, that wasn't the choice I was getting with this ESC so I have to dive away with this one well, at least I know with this one I'm gonna be able to fly this aircraft with no problem and the nice thing is the beepings that this ESC uh, the, the beepings that you get from this ESC are the same type of beepings that you will get from the stock GAUI 330XS ESC. So since I'm familiar with that, uh, with the GAUI quadcopter, I, I use the GAUI quadcopter as a baseline to, to, to figure out, you know, uh, which better or which stronger or which more or less in compared to that. Uh, uh, aircraft, so this is a very popular aircraft, the Cali uh, 230SS, but obviously this is a larger quadcopter. Anyway, 
I would show on this video how to install these ESCs. You can just follow video number three in the same way I installed the uh, Hobby King ESCs on this quadcopter. That's the same way you guys got to do it if you guys decide to get this one. If you guys know how to program this uh, uh, this big ESCs, if you have any idea, then you can buy it. But if you don't, don't bother because you're going to be frustrated and you're just going to throw money away just like I did. Uh, so you better off with getting simple, you know, easy to understand stuff like this. Uh, so, but what I'm really going to do with these videos, once I install the BSCs off camera, uh, the next section of this video, I'm going to show how to program these BSCs uh, to the gyro controller and to the remote control. And once you do that, you should have no problems with five days. This also will apply if you guys need to learn how to set up your Galaxy 330XX or if you got any other quadcopter that is flying with the DU 344 uh, controller from Galaxy. Okay, so this video is also is going to be like a kind of a remake of video uh, number five. Okay, once I do all these setups, the next video is definitely is going to be. They made them fly. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed to install the ESCs. If it was done do, do with that, I'm gonna show how to pro, pro set up the ESCs to the controller and the rig. Okay, I just finished installing uh, all four ESCs, the gyro controller and the receiver. So as you can see, the four ESCs they are nice and neat, holes in between the arms. Um, I'm on the receiver in the center, the yeah, amount the gyro again on the on the left side of the aircraft. This side over here a little bit empty because this is where I'm gonna mount the gyro that is gonna control the the three axis camera mount. Anyway, uh, before I proceed to program uh, the gyro controller with the ESCs and the radio there's some settings that you have to do on the radio. So, the elevator and the alarms set up on 50% on your EPA. Okay, that's the exponentials. If you know how to set up dual rates, then just leave the EPAs on 100% and then go to the dual rates. If you using a two switch, uh, two position switch to with the door rate, then set up set up on 50 and 100. If you're using a three position switch, then you set it up on 50, 75, and 100. Okay, now you don't need to switch as one for elevator and one for outer on, just use one single switch to program both elevators and power on. Now, rudder, always leave it 100% throttle, always leave it 100%, you don't have to touch that. Also, you have to program the fifth channel, because the fifth channel is the one that you can use to set up the gyro controller from the radio. Now, this gyro controller works in two different ways. You can, if you have a radio, it's like a strictly a four channel radio or a radio that is like a multi channel radio but it's not computerized. It doesn't have any particular settings that can help you out. Then you don't need to do any settings on the fifth channel. Okay? Because this uh, uh, gyro controller comes with its own uh, gain adjustment for the gyro. But if you got a computerized radio, that got more than five channels, then you can use the fifth channel to control the game, but you need to program also a switch on your radio, and that switch has to be a two position switch. And that switch what you're gonna do is that you can either set up the gyro on, with the settings that you can do on your radio, or you can uh, turn up the, the uh, turn it on and off, the way you want to set up the gyro. You want the gyro game to be controlled by the gyro control itself or you want to control it from the ready. Then again, you have to program a, a, a two position switch 
on the fifth channel. So I already did on this radio, and this is the switch that I use to control the gyro. Okay, set up the gyro over here on 50%. Okay, on on going up and going down, set up on 50%. Okay, in other words, positive or negative. And that's what you've got to do, but just leave it always in the on position. So that way, if you need to do some adjustments on the gyro instead of landing the aircraft and doing it, you know, right at the aircraft, you can have the aircraft, you know, like hovering low, and you can, you know, carefully, you know, adjust the, the gain, or you can just land it instead of going to the aircraft or have to adjust it there, you can just adjust it in the radio, okay? But always starts on 50%. Well, now I'm going to proceed to... Uh, uh, set up the ESCs with the gyro controller and uh, Aurora radio. So I need first a small screwdriver. Okay. And what you do is that you go to the gyro controller gate control, gate game uh, train. In the game train, you have to move it to zero. You go to the clockwise, it's going to go to 100. You go all the way counterclockwise until stop, it's on zero. Okay? So move it to zero. And you have to make sure that this green cable is coming from the gyro controller to the receiver is disconnected. So right now I got this green cable disconnected. Okay? This is the green cable that makes the gyro controller gain. Uh, to be adjusted from the radio, okay, so you have to disconnect it, okay, so now you need a charge battery, okay, so I got the battery here, and first thing you got to do is turn the radio on, make sure you're in the right memory if you got a computerized radio, and then move the throttle all the way up, okay, then once you move the throttle, you have to connect the battery to the aircraft. And you have to listen carefully to the tones, the, 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 the beeping that the ESC is going to do. Okay? Now after that, you just move the throttle down and it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Okay? Then after that, you disconnect the battery. Okay. And then you have to reconnect. This green cable over here, you have to reconnect it to the fifth channel on your receiver. Okay, then it's connected. The gain on your gyro controller, you have to move it all the way to 50% or halfway travel. Okay, so right now it's on zero. It's 50%, and it's 100%. So now I got it on 50%. Okay. Now I'm gonna proceed to connect the aircraft again make sure that the motors are spinning to the right direction. Alright. So the ES is just on and now let me just give it some throttle. Wow, just wanna go. So okay, so that means this aircraft is perfectly set up and it's ready to go. Okay, so the last thing that I gotta do is just mount the upper plate and the aircraft is gonna be completely done and pretty much it's gonna be the end of this video. Okay, so uh, next video is gonna be the definitive maiden flight on this aircraft. Okay, so I see you guys on the next video so I can 
you know, fight this aircraft uh, uh, for the first guy and see how he performs and make sure that my driver controller, my receiver, and everything else is set up properly, okay? So, uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a good one.